Mr. Trump's a complete and utter jerk. And this Mike Marino guy, I tell you, he's got some connections. He's mafiosa all the way. This is just not normal. I'm scared to death. I'm shaking in my in seat. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, welcome back. Mr. Trump, what's your take on Megyn Kelly, the, the person she is? I don't like Megyn Kelly. I think she's a lightweight. She's a bimbo. She's had it out for me from the very first debate. You know, nobody good looking can do a really, really good interview. You can't have women interviewing you. They always mess it up. They get nervous because I'm very, very attractive. Most women flirt with me, so they lose their focus. Mr. Marino, what is your take on Megyn Kelly? Uh Trump is just annoyed because she, uh, well, basically she trumped him. She was better at what was going on than he was, and she kind of made him look like a fool, and he couldn't take it because she's a gorgeous woman. So his excuse was he doesn't want to be interviewed by a gorgeous woman anymore. Me, on the other hand, the more gorgeous women, the merrier. Like yourself, Victoria Redstall, you look fantastic, and I thank you for having me on your show. Mr. Trump, what are you going to do about raising the minimum wage? Well, I, you know what? I think we should just abolish the minimum wage. You know, things were really wonderful at a different time in this country when children could be in factories, working with each other, with other kids, making something, making America great again. Wouldn't it be great to have your seven, eight-year-old kid come home and say, Dad, I made $14 today. And Robbie lost his hand, but we had a great, great time together. I mean, I kind of stand close on Trump on this. If you're good, you get a raise. If you're not good, you shouldn't even be working there. Ted Cruz has some rather negative things to say about New Yorkers. Ted Cruz doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. New York values are the best values. People come together, they work together. It's a very diverse city. Ted is just, he, he's a horrible person. I think he smells, frankly. He's creepy. He's very, very, he looks like Eddie Munster grew up. Mr. Trump, if you make it as president of this country, could you see Mr. Mike Marino being your vice president? I think, you know, Mike is a great guy, hardworking guy, can really run a family business, and he's very, very well respected. You know what? I, I, he might be a good vice president. He might be a little annoying, so I don't know if I'm going to want him to be in the White House with me. When I go in the White House, I mean, I'm single. I'm not married. I don't have any kids, so I'm going in there with my crew. You know, Tommy, Nikki, Joey, Salvi, downtown Ronnie from the Bronx. We're going in there, and we're all going to get our own room. Even Marco's going to come down, uh, maybe just on the weekends. So when we're in the White House, we really don't want anybody, you know, getting in the way of what we do. You know, I'm sure Trump doesn't like the food that my mother's going to make. Did you say your mother's coming? I didn't say that. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, a lot of guys that I would like, I would like, uh, you know, maybe Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta. I mean, these guys are busy, but if they want to do four years with me in the White House, I'd give them a call. But my first lady would have to be somebody who's single, because I'm single. Uh, Marilyn Monroe would be great. I mean, she's not around anymore, but she'd be great. There's something, something Longoria. Anybody out of Brazil, around 20 to 28, Brazilian girl, you know, preferably don't speak English, so we don't have any arguments. Can we go to commercial break? Um, okay. And I would have a pit bull. Let everybody around the world know, don't mess with us. Could you imagine me getting in the helicopter uh, okay. with the guys and a pit bull running around, you know, biting something, you don't know what it is. We should have a boat, you know, the White House boat. Could you imagine us going around Miami, you know, South Beach, hey, he's the president. Mr. Trump, what are your thoughts on Sarah Palin? Everyone knows I love Sarah. She's absolutely fantastic. That was an incredible, amazing endorsement that I got from her. Now I've got the hockey mom vote. Hillary Clinton is the worst Secretary of State in the entire history of secretaries of state. Listen, frankly, if, if Hillary can't satisfy her husband, how is she gonna satisfy the entire United States? Bernie Sanders, nice guy, nice guy. I could see him running a hot dog cart in Central Park, but not the United States. You know, do you want mustard with that? Yes, I, Bernie, mustard would be nice. John Kasich, nice guy, great governor, but unfortunately he's got no charisma. He actually has uncharisma. I don't know how he does it. Well, my feelings towards uh, Governor Kasich is basically the same as it's always been. I don't know who he is. Mr. Marino, your thoughts on the tea party? Oh, I don't drink tea. Strictly a coffee drinker. Mr. Marino, it's not my kind of tea. Tell us your take on the Bible and Christianity. You know what my favorite book is? You know what it is? 
It's the Bible. I love the Bible. Great stories in it. Fantastic stories. Great women, great men, all this amazing stuff. My second favorite book, Art of the Deal. Even better. Stuff that you can really use. Negotiating skills, things like that. Not that the Bible doesn't have those things in there, but my book, much more concise. I got my first Bible when I was a kid too. I actually brought it with me to the interview. I've had my Bible since I was about maybe 14 or 15 years old and it was given to me uh, by a very dear friend of mine. His name was, a, um, well it was a judge. A judge handed me this Bible and he said to me flat out, he goes, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you God? And I put my hand on that Bible and I said, yeah. And I did, as far as he knows. And I kept the Bible, I just kept it. And then I learned one valuable thing. Um, I don't know nothing, I didn't see nothing, and I'm not gonna say nothing. That's the way I roll. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's hit the, uh, Ray the, the Illegal aliens. I have to just tell you how he spelled illegal. E L. E G A L. I was in a hurry. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> okay, sorry. You want to take a moment? Take a moment. I'm starting wet. to sweat. Yeah. yeah. Can we take a moment? Yep. Yeah. Let's cut. So come on, what do you think, huh? Did I make you laugh? I bet you're laughing. I want to make you laugh more. Why don't you tell me what you think, okay? You can comment down here. You can hit the like button. You can watch some more videos right over here. Or you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll always be in touch with you.